he's a lot like me. He uh, strives to get better every year. I mean, you know, he uh, identifies his weaknesses and he does things to address them. Uh, some people tend to want to focus on their strengths and dismiss the importance of addressing weaknesses. And some people understand that growth is about addressing your weaknesses, not about doubling down on your strengths. A lot of musicians are smart enough to hear that their records are starting to sound a lot like the prior records. So uh, the quick fix solution is to just keep changing groups. So one record's a quartet, the next record's an organ trio, the next record's a big band. You just keep changing the context. And that tends to be kind of like a mask for the repetitive nature of, of uh, some player's philosophy. People tend to not hear with a certain level of specificity. So if you change the context of a group, people tend not to notice, oh, man, that's the same solo you played on the last record. <laughs> this is, you, you tend not to notice that because the context is, is, is changed, which is a smart way to go about it if, if you're really not interested in, in addressing your limitations. I mean, yeah, that's what I would do. My endeavor is always to become a better musician, not a better saxophone player. When you are lucky enough to play for audiences that aren't musicians, they respond to sound because they don't really know or care about how technically advanced you're playing your instrument. Uh, that would be impressive on one song, but two or three songs, it gets to be bo boring very quickly. So what I had to do was just as a, as a younger person, when I was playing this burnout style, I didn't really realize at the time, yeah, people get burnt out on the burnout after the second song. So then I had to learn how to play melodies better, learn how to play with more sonic variety. I had to learn how to play ballads. I had to learn how to play slow tempos. And the I think the overwhelming majority of musicians who play jazz now, they their their idea of, of of success in music is, is they express the music through their instrument. Uh, I try to express music through music. So uh, you have to listen to a lot of styles of music that are foreign to you. I mean, as a, as a, to a man, I mean, the guys in the band, uh, once everybody started listening to classical music more then the group kind of evolved into more of a chamber group than a traditional, jazz group where you know i play then you play then the other guy plays and then we play the head at the end 